Good evening once again. I welcome you back. It's time for devotional and I'm so happy that despite of the rain, despite of the challenges in life, despite of everything that's going on in our lives, we are here. We gather together hoping that we will be blessed, hoping that the Lord will bless us more understanding wisdom as we get to know him more and more as our personal savior and our king. Let us pray. Father in heaven, dear God, we bless your name on high. We thank you for being so good, great, loving God who provides all our needs of God every single day. Father, as we're about to meditate upon your word, bless us, encourage us, and give us, O oh Lord God, wisdom and understanding that we may know your will in our lives. Forgive us all our sins that we may for also um, worthy to receive your blessings tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. The topic of our devotional tonight he desires obedience out of love first Kings 6 12 to 13 as for this temple you are building if you follow my decrees observe my laws and keep all the commands and obey them I will fulfill through you the promise I gave to David your father and I will live among the Israelites and will not abandon my people Israel our God is an extraordinary God when he asks someone to do something for him, he is specific what needs to be done. Did you remember Noah when he built the ark? God has given him specifications as to how long, how wide, how many windows and rooms. It did not go just as what Noah wanted, but it was all directed by God. In this time, God commanded King Solomon to build a temple for him. I was reading the details in 1 Kings chapter 5 and 6 and, and my mind is blown away by the magnitude of the task given. But praise be to God for the wisdom given to King Solomon. He was able to hire about 30,000 men from Israel alone. Now to avoid being overworked, King Solomon has to send them off to Lebanon in shifts of 10,000 a month so that they spent one month in Lebanon and two months at home. In 1 King 5, 15 to 17 says that King Solomon had 70,000 carriers and 80,000 stone cutters in the hills as well as 3,304 men who supervised the project and directed the workers. 1 King 6, 2 says that the temple that King Solomon built for the Lord was 60 cubits long, 20 wide and 30 high hear this <laughs> verses 20 to 22 says that the inner sanctuary was 20 cubits long 20 wide and 20 high and he overlaid the inside with pure gold and he also overlaid the altar of, of cedar now solomon covered the inside of a temple with pure gold and he extended gold chains across the front of the inner sanctuary which was overlaid with gold so he overlaid the whole interior with gold he also overlaid with gold the altar that belonged to the inner sanctuary now verse 30 it says he also covered the floors of both the inner and outer rooms of the temple with gold and by the way it took seven years to complete the temple I could just imagine how magnificent this temple. They are so precious to behold. Quite fascinating as well that the Lord commanded King Solomon about the specifications of this temple. Our God is an awesome God. The beauty of this temple reflected of the one who directed it. Although the building was so beautiful and exquisitely done, the Lord reminded King Solomon this. Hmm. 1 Kings 6, 12-13 As for this temple you are building, if you follow my decrees, observe my laws, and keep all my commands and obey them, I will fulfill through you the promise I gave to David your father. And I will live among the Israelites and will not abandon my people Israel. God still sees the heart of each one. Who would come to the temple? Like us now, the Lord sees our hearts and nothing is hidden before Him. 
we may walk in a newly renovated and beautiful sanctuary, yet if the heart is not set aright before Him, then it is in vain. We have to obey all His decrees and commands. The gold as its finest is not seen at the outer coverings of the church, but inside the heart. Choose Jesus. Follow His will. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord God, what a beautiful reminder, O Lord God, that outside is just all external thing, O Lord God, and you don't really care about it. All you care is about our love, our desire to worship you and obey you, Lord God. Father, help us to um, follow your will and to hear your voice and meditate, O God, your words, reflect upon your goodness and your mercy to every single one of us. And may the love of Jesus Christ, O Lord, at that cross manifested, O God, sealed your love for every single one of us. Help us to also respond back the best that we can to love you with all our hearts, with all our minds, and with all our strength. Thank you so much, O God, for hearing and answering us. In the love of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you so much once again. May the Lord God bless you. I hope to see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye.